All right, guys, it's your boy Grizzly Guapo. I'm switching it up a little bit today. I'm gonna be showing you guys my Bianchi duty belt, which is be using is being used for the purposes of a uh, level three security officer, uh, not the cops. <laughs> you know how we feel about the cops on this paint. I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to get into it. Let's go. So like I said, everything on this belt is Bianchi from the belt to everything else besides the holster. So uh, firstly, let's get into it. So I got this uh, Bianchi belt and I got the tool mag, two mag holders. And the ammo I use for that is PMC bronze. This is um, a self-defense ammunition. Let's just show you guys real quick. And they're uh, hollow points, so. Oh yeah. Don't play with him, don't play with him. Okay. And then I got this Bianchi Acumold cuff case with, if I can get it. Oh yeah. This is a, uh, these are a little stiff because they're the, the, <coughs> there we go. Hinged Smith & Wesson handcuffs in black. Can't have any other color, come on, man. That black just goes with the with the belt, so, and my uniform is black, so it's like, can you beat it? I think not. But, kinda snug, but whatever, dude. These are the two knives I carry. This little M&P by Smith & Wesson. This shit sucks. Came out of the box very, very dull and you can't even it doesn't even have uh holes on the bottom to flip the uh pocket clip so that's gay but uh it gets the job done i like having like a beater knife that i don't really give a shit about so i can like fuck fuck it up and stuff it's already loose too like it wiggles so it's really a piece of shit <laughs> and this this victorinox cadet is way better it's so sharp I, I put this little Cobra braid uh, paracord on it years and years ago, but you know, this has everything else that I need. Cool. This, I have the Surefire HLX. Now this is the real tight John that I don't feel like taking out, but it's easy to take off when the belt is on, but like when it's not on, it's like kind of like a uh, chore. So here it is. I still have the clip on it. Uh, I was gonna take the clip off because of, um... damn, I just got fucked up. Because it, it's kind of hard to get into the holder with the clip, but sometimes I like to, I do carry it in different configurations. So the clip is really, really useful. So, and when it's in here, it's like a added form. Like it definitely won't fall out because it's clipped in. So can't complain, can't complain. I love this Bianchi gears. I love the belt, the uh, all the pouches there. Really supple, I guess you could say. I just love it. Lastly, I have this Safari Land level two holster for my Glock 19. However, it has the ability to be used as a level three, which I have it configured as like that right now. So you just push this down to push this hood up. And then you push this little thing down here down. I don't know if you guys can see, see that? Push that down to get the weapon out. Um, I don't have any lights or I don't like having anything on my pistol. I, I just like it plain Jane, but uh, yeah, look at that. Snap. Crackle pop. But yeah, man, the inner belt I use is just a um, a Bianchi inner belt. Uh, it's perfect. I need. I don't need any belt keepers. It's perfectly uh, stable, I guess you could say. And uh, it's awesome. Does my back hurt at the end of a day? Uh, the end of a uh, twelve-hour shift? Absolutely, it does. But um, I 
I think I look pretty cool because this gear is cool, so I don't really give a shit about that. So. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little walk around with my belt. It's a little different than the videos I make most of the time. I'm just trying to get content out there because I'm trying to get my watch hours up for monetization. So, I figured I'd show you guys my belt. But yeah, guys, like and subscribe. Peace.